Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Fantasy Star Online episode 1 and 2. In the last episode, I left you in front of the Caves 2 entrance after not healing myself and killing a whole bunch of gill sharks and evil sharks and whatever, and everything wanted to stop me. We're now going to the Caves 2 to see what we can find. Hopefully it's candy. I'd really like some candy. Actually, I'm not really a fan of sweets, to be honest with you. I don't know why. My friends always thought I was weird. I'm one of those people that don't like chocolate cake. I don't like cake in general. I don't like chocolate that much. I, I like in small doses, that's about it. Friends are always like, how do you not like chocolate? Well, I just don't really care for it. I mean, it's it's good when it's small things, like little snacks. Like, cookies are pretty good. I love cookies. Those, those are always good. But things like super fudgy, super sweet, like super chocolate crap is just... just. It's not that it's disgusting, it's just too rich for me. I just... It's too much. I can eat only like a couple bites and I'm like, alright, I really don't want any more of this. But like, I'll, I'll eat like Star Crunches all damn day, but... Dark chocolate especially. I hate dark chocolate, but I don't know many guys who love dark chocolate. I, I think I, I only know women. <laughs> I only know like all the girls I know like dark chocolate. Which is like three. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I don't, I can't stand chocolate, dark chocolate, but, you know, snacks. So once in a while, I'll have a sweet tooth, and I'll, I'll like to get some candy, but even that, like, uh, the only thing with that I've learned is I'll keep overindulging on candy. I'm like, mm, this is so good, and then it just ruins my appetite, and then I feel like crap afterwards. Alright, there's going to be pink spikes all up in here, I know it. Trap vision. Yeah, I knew it. Stupid pink spikes. I don't like you, Ping Spikes of Doom, nor will I ever like you. So they've hidden a whole bunch of switches in this room. See, that's the wrong switch. So you have to find the magical force switches that don't have bombs over them. Which, this leads to a dead end, so I'm not doing this. See, look, it does nothing. Oh, I missed that switch over there. Well, I guess I'll go through there. Since I've already done all this work, I might as well go through this door. A reward better be worth it. Better give me, like, a trimate or something. I'll be satisfied if it's, like, a trimate. Huh. There we go. Door's open. Imagine they could go into a door like this on online. Everyone's just walking through. It's like a pain in the ass. Because everybody has to stand on the switch. And if you don't have four people, you can't open the door. Pink spikes? No. Okay. This is what's this this is what awaits me? What a jimp! The game tricked me! I'm not happy with this at all. I can't believe that. I open that door and I get greeted with a whole bunch of poison lilies ready to shoot me with poison? <laughs> what nonsense is that? Who does that? Man. This game is mean. Okay. Well, screw them too. Screw these guys to hell and back. What is that? What? What is? What is this? Yeah, no shit. That rocks are blocking my path. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess I have to go kill some lilies then. I, I, I guess there's nowhere else to go, so let's go back and maybe if we kill those guys, something will happen. Ugh, what in the world? Don't make me have to bust out my guide. Don't make me. What a ridiculous mission this is. What a ridiculous mission! Going to find a headless robot or whatever robot. I'm missing something. Yeah, you're spitting poison at me. You think you're cute? But you're not. Eh. What? Is that a rare? It is a rare. Holy crap. How do I get over there? Our first rare is dropped, but I'm not able to get to that point. No. no. <laughs> okay, well, let's. We gotta figure out what to do here. Oh wait, I was over there earlier. 
I can get over there because that's where I came from. Oh, I'm so stupid. I am so stupid, oh. Let's head back there and pick up my rare. That's my rare. Mine, I tell you. Is it this way? Yes, it was this way. Gimme, 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 gimme. Photon drop. Oh, well, might as well pick it up. Let's get rid of um, this Giga Shield. Oh wait, I got freaking armor. That's stuff for Jack. Well, first rare is a photon drop. Oh, huzzah! Great. Uh, photon drops are used in a online quest, I believe, or maybe it's offline. But there are no. Oh, wait, you have to have. I think maybe it is, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think maybe you use them for, uh, you have to use the photon drops to, uh, I can't think. If you find, like, a, a, a body piece to a monster, and, um, you want to learn get that as a rare weapon, turn it into a rare weapon, I think you have to, you have photon drops alongside the rare monster item. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I know they're blocking my path. Let me blow it up or something. How do I... Can I kick through it? What the poop, man? What the poop? It's just a dead end. It's just... It's just... It's just, it's just a dead end. Do I gotta go back to town? It seems like I gotta go back to town. Maybe find that doofus who went and sold stuff. Yeah. That's all dead ends. This just takes me back to somewhere I don't want to go. Takes me back to Cave One. Well, let's go back to town real quick. To town? All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, apparently, I didn't remember that this this quest is actually not in the original Fantasy Star uh, version one, maybe version two. Um, so my guy did not have this, and I actually had to look up what I was missing, and I had to go pick up the android's head, which was back in Force 2. Okay, now we picked up his head, now I can look at the quest board. No, I know about the letter, shut up. Excuse me, are you the hunter who came to rescue me? Sorry that I'm like this, I'm Lionel. I was in sleep mode as my energy level was very low. What's wrong? Any problems? Where's your body? Good question. My body, a strange monster attacked me and I was heavily damaged. I managed to escape from the monster, but I got worse after that. I dropped my legs and my uh, and an arm and I lost my body. How the How do you What? <laughs> how do you do that? <sighs> Please find all my missing body parts for me. That's my request. Please. Sorry, I'm scared. No, oh, I'll do it. Great, thank you. Can I go with you? Take me. Let's go. The sensors in my Missing parts are still working. I can roughly detect their locations. Right and left legs, right arm, and my body with the left arm. Four parts in total. Got it. Hey, be careful. Handle me with care. Ugh. Okay, so... After that... Let's see, where are we supposed to go? Where's his next arm at? Uh, we, gotta, we gotta go find his arm. I don't really know where I'm supposed to go. But we shall take a look around. Uh, I think I'll just I'll just cut to where his body pieces are. So I'll see you in a minute. Oh, oh God! All right, guys, I'm back. Uh. After a bunch of wandering around, I found his right arm. And what you have to do is come into the Force 2, go into this room here, and a Hildebear will drop down. And if you kill him, he gets you his arm. So, there's that piece, and I'll see you at the next piece. Alright guys, here we are. I found the next piece. You have to go back to the Forest 1. And you'll find his right leg. And we need to talk to his right leg to figure out where the next one is. You found my right leg. Where's the other one? Please find it. Yeah, and uh, I forgot to look at the android's right arm. He won't... Yeah, he'll say the same thing. 
but uh, basically he said, when I clicked on it, he was like, Oh, my uh, one arm's in liquid. Well, the other one's in liquid. Uh, what the difference is, the air. One's in the open, one's in the... Uh, somewhere down... Or in a cave, basically. So, we gotta go back to caves, too. So I'll meet you guys there. Alright, guys, here's the final piece. Well, I say final. We need one more. Let's talk to his arm here. Oh, no. Item... Left leg. You found both. Cool. These parts are my old friends. Body part. One more body part is left. I feel like it's moving. All right. So now we need to go back to town. Let's see. We gotta go find that dude who stole it. All right. Where is he at? That's the question. Is he in the shop? Oh, it's not there. Where is this guy at? Where is this loser at? Is he in the Hunter's Guild? I have to go slap him. There he is. What are you looking for? Want anything special? Oh, it's you, Ranger. How did it go? No good? Android parts? I don't know. I don't have them. So I don't have any Android body parts. You hear me? What? You didn't say body? Oh no! Okay, okay, I give up. Here it is. Yay! Where is he at? He must be in here. There he is. There he is. Let's talk to him. You caused me a headache, man. Damn, I had to go everywhere. I got... Oh, thank you. Now my parts are connected. I'm running my aging diagnostic test. What? Do you think I got damaged? It was in self-sleep mode to protect myself when I'm in danger. The guild will pay you for your reward. Thank you. Good lord, man. What a freaking quest of annoyance. See, that was not in the original one, so I... I could not remember that one for life. But with that, we got 4,500 Meseta, and I'm going to end the episode here. This is Zane Faye of 500. Hope you guys have a good one. Take care.